Hey! Are you a mobile phone software technician or aspirant? Yes right? Then you have came across different type of mobile phone operational mode before, so today I decided to explain each of them in brief especially those found in Android phone and feature phones. Boot ROM Boot ROM, boot read-only memory, is a firmware program that resides in a chip on the device's motherboard. It is the first code that runs when a device is powered on. The boot ROM initializes the hardware and loads the boot loader, which then starts the operating system. It is responsible for the low-level boot process. Boot Loader The boot loader is a program or piece of code that loads the device's operating system. It is located in a dedicated partition on the device's storage. The boot loader verifies the integrity of the operating system and initializes essential components. It also provides a platform for booting into different modes, such as recovery or fast boot mode. Preloader Preloader is a term commonly associated with devices using MediaTek chipsets. Especially in Android devices. It is a small piece of firmware that resides in a dedicated memory region and is responsible for initializing critical hardware components before the main bootloader takes over. The preloader helps establish communication between the device and the computer during firmware flashing or recovery processes. Meta mode. Meta mode is a term associated with devices using MediaTek chipsets, particularly in feature phones. It is a mode that allows low-level access to the device's hardware, such as its modem. Meta mode is typically used for activities like IMEI repair, firmware flashing, or diagnostic testing. Download mode, Odin mode. Download mode, commonly found on Samsung devices, allows the device to communicate with software like Samsung Odin. It is used to flash firmware, install updates, or recover the device using official firmware packages. Emergency Download Mode EDL. Emergency Download Mode, found in devices with Qualcomm chipsets. Allows low-level flashing and repairing operations using specific software like QPST. It is used for unbricking and recovering devices. Fast Boot Mode. Fast Boot is a protocol used in Android devices that enables communication between the device and a computer for low-level operations. Fast boot mode allows users to modify the device's system partitions, flash custom firmware, or install system updates via fast boot commands issued from a computer. Recovery mode. Recovery mode is a built-in mode in Android devices that provides a separate environment independent of the main operating system. In recovery mode, users can perform various system level tasks such as wiping data, installing system updates or custom ROMs, restoring backups, and troubleshooting software issues. Recovery mode is typically accessed by specific button combinations during device bootup. Custom recovery. Custom recovery refers to a modified version of the default recovery mode, such as TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project. It provides additional features and options for advanced users, including custom ROM installation, system modification, and backup slash restore functions. Factory mode. Factory mode, also known as factory test mode or service mode, is a hidden menu on some Android devices. It is primarily used by manufacturers or service technicians for testing and calibrating hardware components during the manufacturing process. Factory mode provides options to test hardware functionality, perform diagnostics, and sometimes change certain settings specific to the manufacturing process. Boot loop. Boot loop refers to a situation where the device gets stuck in a continuous booting cycle, repeatedly attempting to start up but failing. It can be caused by software or hardware issues and often requires troubleshooting or repair. Demo mode. Demo mode is a special mode used by retailers to showcase Android devices in stores. It simulates device usage, displays promotional content, and disables certain features or limits functionality to prevent misuse or tampering. Normal mode. This is the standard operating mode of an Android device when it is functioning normally. It allows users to access all the device's features and applications. Airplane mode. Airplane mode disables all wireless communication features of the device, including cellular network, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. It is typically used during flights or in areas where wireless transmissions are prohibited or may interfere with sensitive equipment. Silent mode. Silent mode. 
also known as vibrate mode, mutes all incoming calls, notifications, and system sounds. However, the device still functions normally, except for the absence of audible alerts. Power Saving Mode Power Saving Mode is designed to extend the battery life of an Android device by limiting certain functions and reducing power consumption. It typically reduces the device's performance, restricts background processes, and adjusts display settings to conserve power. Battery Saver Mode Battery Saver Mode is a more aggressive power saving mode that is activated and the device's battery level reaches a certain threshold. It further restricts background processes, reduces screen brightness, limits vibration, and imposes other power saving measures to maximize battery life. Safe Mode Safe Mode is a troubleshooting mode that allows the device to start with only essential system services and pre-installed applications. It helps isolate and identify issues caused by third-party apps or conflicts. In Safe Mode Only core system functions and built-in apps are available. It's important to note that the availability and functionality of these modes can vary depending on the device's manufacturer, model, and software implementation. Thank you for watching. And kindly click the subscribe button to follow this channel to get notified whenever we drop a new content. Thank you.